Hey guys! Uh, again, man, I'm making this really late. I need to start doing this sooner in the day. Um, but, uh, today I didn't really do much. Took Allison to work, and I went and finally, finally picked up my check from working last week with Super Y uh, up at the Civic Center. So, and I got paid a good bit of money, and, like, I wasn't expecting it to be that much, but... I was pretty excited so but uh, I decided rather than depositing it directly into my bank which when I do that since it's an out-of-state bank it takes like 10 days or something like that like they have to hold the check for 10 business days and yeah that's kind of ridiculous and I really need access to my money now so I decided to hold on to it and try taking it up to the bank where they have an account with and see if they can just cash it like that and then I can put it in my bank. Something I can have direct access to it. But um yeah, so then I just kind of farted around with my other roommate, Amanda, from last night. Um she uh she and I were just kinda hanging out, playing some games and doing random stuff and so it didn't really wasn't too eventful until um, both Allison and Jane got back from their respective jobs and they were, we were all talking about what we're going to be wearing or what, actually they were talking about what they were going to be wearing for the wedding this weekend and they and Jane had just gotten some new dresses for her birthday so they were just trying on the dresses to see kind of which one they wanted to wear and uh, and we somehow we all ended up in Jane and mine's bedroom trying on dresses and then Amanda ended up trying on her dress because Jane didn't know what it looked like and trying different accessories and belts and things and then Jane and uh, Jane and Allison were kind of going back and forth between four, four or five different dresses and they said well Courtney what does yours look like I said well I'm in the bridal party so mine is the regular so we'll try it on so then I ended up trying mine on so we all ended up just it was just a big massive dress up party in our bedroom and I think we did finally decide on who all's wearing what and mostly what shoes and jewelry-ish of sorts. So I guess kind of the next thing is to figure out makeup and hair, I suppose, for uh, for our different outfits. My mom has my mom my mom had a couple ideas for my hair, but it all kind of depends if Rachel wants our hair up or down or half and half or whatever. So yeah, it just kind of depends on that. But uh, it was a really fun time. We, I think, we were doing that for a solid two, maybe two and a half hours, just trying on dresses and doing different things and stuff. And uh, they're all now finally going to bed. And uh, actually, I'm still kind of waiting for um, this lotion tanning stuff. I don't know if some of you guys have heard of it. It's uh, I think it's the Jergens Natural Glow or something. Uh, I'd put some on my legs uh, this past weekend for the bachelorette party, and my legs went really dark. Uh, and Allison has got these massive tan lines because she's been going out while she's been babysitting and um, swimming with the kids and everything. And so she's like super dark, except she's got like massive, just like white, white, white tan lines everywhere. So I was telling her about, you know, the effect that it had on my legs, how it got really dark. So she said, okay, well, I'll try that, you know. So I rubbed some, you know, on her tan lines and stuff. I said, well, hey, you want to get my back? So we ended up, you know, putting some on each other. And she was just asking me, do you think it's safe for me to pull my straps up? And I was like, yeah, it should be. Uh, cause so, so I just pulled mine up before I started this because I didn't want to look like I was naked making this video. But um, so I think it should be good. I don't know. We'll we'll see tomorrow if it if I'm any darker, or if I made accidental tan lines on myself by not going, you know, all the way over and stuff. Who knows? But uh, anyways, so now they're all going to bed, and now I really need to be going to bed because I'm supposed to be helping out uh, Dr. Chandler again in the morning with doing something. I don't know something up at the school. 
and in honor of my roommate Amanda, who is autistic and has a, a little bit, or I don't know, it has a slight case of uh, Asperger's, um, in honor of her, uh, my fun fact for today is, did you know that the guy who wrote and created Pokemon has the Asperger's form of autism? And in her words, it totally makes sense why the guy who would have created Pokemon would have Asperger's because only somebody who's autistic could come up with half the stuff, the stuff that he created in the world of, you know, I don't know what the land is called or whatever, but he's just, and he's still cranking out episodes. And I'm going, oh my gosh. So, all right, guys. I hope y'all had a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.